Well, you know what I like to do when I have a little bit of a time, if I possibly can? I like to watch cartoons. And recently I've too. been watching a lot of cartoons because they I got every goddamn mind. Warner Brothers cartoon since 1935 on HBO Max. Thank you very much to nice. HBO, by the way. And so I'm going through them and I'm up to 1937. But mm-hmm. when me and Phil were talking about it yesterday, I was trying to remember which one it was. There are several of the really old black and white cartoons in the Merry Melodies, Looney Tunes kind of sphere of things, right? That uh, they made the black and white one. But then later, when they had a better budget and it was one color dollar. and it looked good Thank and it sounded good and all those different things, they right. kind of made the same cartoon or made a cartoon that was the same jokes and the same setups. You know what I mean? They they did the the correct the version it. of it later. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. one of my favorite cartoons has an old black and white and a newer color version. And we were talking about it yesterday and how it created some of these really classic gags in oh, the yeah. scope of, of that kind of comedy. You know what I mean? And I couldn't yeah. I couldn't find the old black and white version, but one of my very favorite Looney Tunes of all time is in the public domain. What? And we're going to look at it today, friends. They oh, even man. muted the fucking opening tune so that we don't get copyright clipped. Guys, oh, please shit. give it up for one of my favorites ever, Porky nice. Pig Feet from 1943. This oh, is still yes. in the Schlesinger days, guys. This I is, love it. At this point, Chuck Jones and Mel Blanc both work there, but they are not running the show in the way they did in the 50s and 60s. This is still Schlesinger's. Bob Clampett is starting to come up at this point. All of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, but yeah. these are some classic gags, man. Uh-huh. Any similarity between this hotel and Hotels Living or Dead is purely coincidental. Love it. Gee, check your uh, Twitter DMs when you got a second. Who already knows this one out there in the chat, man? The Broken Arms Hotel. A fucking classic. Yeah, so I have to check that out. $152 gigantic back then. And look at this smug motherfucker, man. Right. This son of a bitch. before you leave. No. No. Yeah, no. I mean, yes. And my partner Daffy Duck will be re- right back. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, I love any of the road trip ones, man. Yeah. So you know. Oh wait, here we go. Come on, sevens. Ha! Come on, sevens. Daffy's gambling in the back. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. Too bad. Use the dead duck. Duck. Oh my God. So good. It's the equivalent of twenty four hundred dollars today. Wow. That is a big bill. Look at him. Oh no. Oh, I love no. any of the Porky and Daffy road trip premises, like where oh, you're absolutely. trying to go to sleep and there's always something making noise, or they can't pay the bill at the hotel, or the hotel right. is haunted. Or when they're trying to go to sleep, it's always like they throw the shoe, it comes back, and then a bunch of them come out, or whatever. Right, you know, they do it right, three or four times. Well, uh, my hope so. Oh, uh, hope so. Oh, here we go. A fatso. <laughs> These jokes are almost a hundred years old, dude. Still yeah. funny. Still, and I've seen it fifty fucking times. Sir what did he say? A new Dick Tracy Prune character. Face. Prune face. Yeah. Sir Ben says I like the Ducksters. Dude, yes. we were just talking about that one last night. Sponsored by the Eagle Hand Laundry. Are your Eagle's yep. hands dirty? Come to Eagle Hand Laundry. That's a great one, too. Any Porky and Daffy cartoons are always funny. I liked uh, Quack Busters. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like Duck Tracy, too, man. Where he gets knocked on the head while he's reading a comic book. Solid. Yeah. That's kind of how uh, the beginning of Quackbusters is, too. Yeah, yeah. The Field of Onion, yes. Oh, oh I remember this one. <laughs> That's the shit. Divine Petulance, hell yeah. Duck Dodgers in the 24th and a half century. A definite classic. In the 24th and a half century. Oh, yeah. 
I, you know, I, I like the one, too, where it's um, Dragnet. It's Daffy and Porky, but it's like Dragnet. Yeah. He's Joe Tuesday or something like that. That's a good one. Oh, man, so many classic. I can't they believe were this is in the public pair. domain. This I is know. great. They were a great pair, oh. man. They really were. A lot of great cartoons. Nope. Nope. They thought they were getting no. out. Not happening. And you'll notice that since they did a black and white of this in the color version, they made sure to go more bold with color choices. They're all over the spectrum here. Differentiate it more. Yellow, Purple, green, green yellow, orange. orange. A lot of bright colors. I, you know, I know it's minuscule, but I've always liked that gag where cartoon characters try to open the door by putting their feet up on the door, being held up by the door. Right, uh -huh. you know obviously I mean? doesn't work. Would not yeah. work. Oh, yes. No Another left. classic. Ooh. Another classic gag. Ooh. Ah, ee, ah, yeah. ooh, ah, and you yeah. already know, it'll happen again, but the second time he's faking it and just making the sounds. You know what I'm right. saying? Uh -huh. So good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, Mel Blanc had some of the greatest yelps, you know what I mean? <laughs> he really did, man. I can only hope to one day be his tenth as good as fucking Chuck Jones Dude, and Bob Clampett, tell me man. about it with fucking Jesus. Mel Blanc. Or any man, of the big, big time voice actors out there, man. They had such a crazy, man. huge fucking roster. Oh, see? They're just listening to it this time. Yeah! Uh, yeah, you got it, What a great buddy. gag. What a great gag. Another classic. Rubble Threat, you are correct. He did uh, also voice Barney Rubble. Oh, Mel Blanc? Yeah. Oh, he's, dude, he's maybe one of the most, maybe the most prolific of all time. He's uh, uh -huh. so much of everything we heard growing up. Oh, yeah. Let me see now. How much was it? How much, <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> Whack! Yeah! God damn it! These are this is still like the gold standard of American animation. These are so good. I'm glad we're getting into a new era of American action cartoons, like Invincible and Castlevania, because that's oh, yeah. really good-looking animation. It's not comedy shows, but it's very well done production. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. Invincible was very good. I like. like I, I still like, haven't finished it, but I do good. like it. Very cool. Oh, you gotta so finish it, dude. I know. It I just haven't had a lot of time, man. Oh, here we go. Girly picture. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. The cla another classic gag. Stop. Not even for a girl, for a picture of a girl. Right. Time to hot foot. Gotta do the old hot foot, bro. Love hot foot. Mm -hmm. That's classic right there. Bam, right in the ass. Whoa. Yeah, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stops on the way up. Of course, you have to. Mm -hmm. and the guy's got to be there. The Debris. They got all the Debris. They Debris, Debris dude. <laughs> Somebody crow cannon their cartoon. Dude, one of the best. One of the best. I love Especially it. for the 40s. I, oh, really, yeah. the 50s stuff is usually my favorite, but for the, uh, for the 40s, this is really excellent. Oh, yeah. I can't stand it. Oh, da, 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 I can't stand it. I've been there for months, man. I'm going stir-crazy. Bastille Batty. Bastille Batty. That's a good name for a band. That is good. I'm as black yeah. as a sheep. Uh, gosh, uh, Bugs Bunny was only here. Yeah, Bugs Bunny, my hero. He can get out of my hero. I, saw I love it that they're referencing the Bugs. You know what I mean? Like, usually they don't reference other cartoon yeah, well, characters I like outside it that of they, that cartoon. They reference Schlesinger, even. Porky goes, I saw him one time in a Leon Schlesinger cartoon, and he did this and this. That's fucking dope. <laughs> Nobody did shit like that back then. Hello, Bugs. Oh, here we go. I love this guy, too. The zoom in on the yes. 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 That Palooka manager has got us locked up in the Broken Arms Hotel. We did this one time in a cold open, too. actually. And the yeses. Try the elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. And throw him down the stairs. Yes. Use the sheets. Yes. Swing across on the rope. Yes. We tried all those ways. Ah! Don't work, do they? Hey! Nah, yeah. Yes! Give it up, guys! Oh, I man. know why that 
That is one of your favorites, Bad. man. You know, sometimes it's about making fun of the actual cartoon or what's in it or the, the subject matter of the time or sometimes that's what it's yeah. about, making fun yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's about appreciating animation because that's what we are. You know, we, we 